testing. Are we recording? Yes. Oh. <laughs> What's going on guys? Welcome back, bienvenidos. Join the family, hit that subscribe button. Today, I know I'm recording a little different and that's because I was trying to film in the other way to show you guys my hair in detail and it just wasn't doing it justice. So here I am to show you guys my natural hair routine. I've just been rocking the natural waves, letting it air dry, do its thing. And I do have a bit of a routine that I really love to do. And one specific hack that I think um, Anyone who uses a curl or wave defining, I want to say wave because every time I say my hair is curly, I get like yelled at like, your hair's not curly, but I was born with really curly hair. It's just now through the years of styling it, it's more so this texture. Let me actually take it down for you guys so you can see it. So this is my natural texture. It's more of like a deep wave. And before anyone says I have a keratin treatment, it's completely out of my hair. The last time I got one done was pre-quarantine. So before March even, I don't even know. I also have an extremely dry scalp. So I've been having to use the Neutrogena Tea Gel shampoo that strips your hair of every bit of moisture that could possibly be left in your hair but my dermatologist um, recommended that i use that shampoo but it's the only thing that works to alleviate that like dry itchy feeling and flaky scalp my scalp has just been the ultimate flakiness i don't know if it's from actually no i know it's from the constant buildup of sweat from working out which is another reason why i've been wearing my hair natural because i tend to wash it more often now to try and alleviate that itchy uh, or like bacteria buildup on my scalp and use the tea gel shampoo more often With that said my hair now is completely dry no keratin treatment but i have this routine that has worked for me for years and i'm going to share it with you guys so these are my two favorite products right here Xuan Wen Wa hair treatment from Lush and R&B hair moisturizer. I don't always apply Xuan Wen Wa. I use it maybe like one to two times a week for added moisture, but whenever I do use this and R&B together and then let my hair air dry, it looks 10 times better because this adds a lot of moisture. And then R&B I consider kind of like my natural texture enhancer. The trick with textured hair, so again, curly, wavy, kinky, coily, whatever hair texture it is that you have, if you're trying to enhance it, you need moisture and creamy moisturizing products I find are what work best. R&B moisturizer though, I just, it's the ultimate, it's the best. Seven years ago, I wanna say it's been like seven years, I walked into a Lush, this girl had amazing curly hair that looked hydrated and shiny but when i touched it because she's like oh no yeah touch it it's not crunchy it was not crunchy or stiff at all a lot of wavy curly hair products when they leave my hair feeling crunchy i'm just like it's a no it's a no for me dog i'm not i'm not down with the crunchy hair some people might like it for me i still like it to feel soft but have that hold and still look a little um like it has a product in it but not crunchy or hard feeling. Here is my hack, okay? And I'm gonna show you guys in the shower in a bit. I'm gonna recruit Kyle to help me film this. I apply my leave-in conditioners, hair moisturizers, any curly, wavy, enhancing product in the shower. I don't wait until I'm out of the shower to apply it because my hair is so thick, as you guys can see, like there's a lot, look at this, there's a lot. I have so much hair that if I try and add this product afterwards, it's hard to get every single strand, especially, you know, in between and under um, all this thickness I've got going on. So by applying it in the shower like you would a normal conditioner, I feel like it drenches your hair in the product and then I put it in a turby twist, don't touch it afterwards, let it air dry, let it do its thing and it always comes out looking really good. So I'm gonna apply Xuan Wen Wa here for you guys. I mainly focus it on the ends. So I'm just gonna work it into the ends like that. And then I'll take one final scoop. But I really do just like to focus on the ends because they're so dry. <laughs> I just toss it into a croissant bun like so. There you go. You can see the mask is in there. I let it sit for the 20 minutes, you know, do something else productive, semi-productive, maybe just play with the dogs, boomers here. And then um, 
I will proceed with my routine in the shower and I will meet you guys in there. I like to start by using this Briogeo Scalp Revival Exfoliating Shampoo. It does have a physical exfoliant to it, plus the charcoal. So it really helps to get rid of any product buildup. And in my case, any uh, dry, flaky skin that's on my scalp. Again, I've been suffering from extreme itchiness, dryness, flaking. Um, I have this one video that Kyle took of me in sunlight where <laughs> it was scratching my hair and you can see the flakes falling from my hair. It literally looked like snow. So this does a good job at getting rid of all of that buildup. And then I'll go in with the tea gel shampoo from Neutrogena. Again, this was recommended by my dermatologist. It really does help soothe that dry, itchy, irritation. Um, I mainly get it on the back of my head um, in the deepest depths of my thick hair. Um, I think that's just where all the buildup is on the back of my hair, all the moisture. So I really just apply it there, leave it on for a few minutes, rinse it out. And then I go in with Curl Charisma from Briogeo and C plus G mask from Together Beauty. The mask is more so smoothing and the curl charisma is going to enhance the natural texture curl wave pattern of my hair. I like mixing both of them. You don't have to. Curl charisma on its own works great. I have it in my hair as I'm recording this voiceover. I didn't use um, CNG mask with it. Um, but together, I feel like it combats frizz, but also enhances my curl. Um, but use one or the other. Again, the key with textured hair is moisture 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 so um i'm adding that to my hair and then brushing my hair in the shower it's really important that um, you brush your hair while it's wet when it has conditioner in it so that you're not causing any damage but also removing any um knots from your hair um before uh it dries because once it dries if you try and brush it out it's just going to create a huge mess <laughs> um okay so here is that hack i was talking about it's seriously the best if you have um, really thick hair and find it difficult to apply a product through all of your hair, I apply my deep conditioners, curl or wave enhancing products in the shower when it's soaking wet and then wrap it in a turby twist to let it sit. And that's about it. All right, guys, now that I'm back from my shower, all nice and squeaky clean for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed joining me in the shower. It was really difficult to film, almost flooded the bathtub, but it's okay, we're here. <laughs> and we've got the turby twist in, but what I do after the shower, because I put this one on in the shower with soaking wet hair, it's now drenched and my hair's not really gonna dry in this. So I actually switch over to another dry turby twist afterwards for an additional like 10 minutes or so before I start the air drying process to further soak up any excess water because right now I feel like my hair would just be dripping water all over the house. So I'm gonna put on this dry turby twist and I always put mine on backwards if you guys haven't noticed. I find that it causes less tangles in the hair versus flipping my hair upside down. That's just my preference. So I wrap it real tight to get all that excess water out and you can feel it. It was definitely soaking wet. Gonna tie it back up. I'm gonna leave it in this turby twist for another 10 minutes or so and then I'll be back. It's been about 10 minutes. It will definitely still be wet as you guys can tell but it's not dripping wet like it was before. But yeah, I just let it live. The worst, I, I don't know if I already said this, I feel like I did, the worst thing you can do is brush your hair when it's dry if you have textured hair. That's why you saw me brush it in the shower to get all the knots out. But then afterwards, just let it live. Only finger comb it if you have to. I just kind of do this, shake it out a little bit, maybe flip my hair upside down, do a couple of these, you know? I give it a couple of these especially up here so that there's volume. Yeah, just do a couple of these. You can even do it with the last turby twist you had on to further dry it, just like so. I've seen people do it with cotton t-shirts as well. Turby twists, the microfiber ones are just, they're absolutely amazing. They come in a two pack on Amazon. I'll link it in my Amazon store. I use them all the time. I always buy the two packs, the two pack white turby twist. I feel like not never, but it's been years since I've used a regular towel in my hair. But yeah, that's about it. So we're going to let it dry. I'm going to check in with you guys once it's completely dry. It can take hours, so I'm not going to time lapse it or anything. I'm going to go do, you know, 
some other work related stuff, make use of my time and then check in with you guys when it's completely dry. I'm back, my hair is finally dry, kind of. The back, middle, still a little wet, but this is what it looks like air dried and I'm gonna show you guys a few other things that I like to do to touch it up and have it look really amazing, wearable and confident because I feel like the thing about naturally textured hair is that the moment it gets super frizzy or there's pieces that just aren't waving or curling right, you just don't feel good in the hair. So I'm gonna show you guys how I further refine these waves. See how some of these pieces over here just aren't sitting right? I want to use a little bit of heat, not too much, okay? Just only where needed. I highly recommend a wand if you already have a curling iron. I've used my curling iron, just left the clamp open. I just got this one, it literally just came today uh, via Amazon. I knew I wanted a one inch curling wand so that I could stop having to hold open the clamp. Um, but again, if you have one with the clamp, just hold it open and still you can uh, manage. I did it all this time up until just now. <laughs> close this little thing up. Okay, so any piece that isn't as wavy as I would like it to be, again, I'm using this side as an example because it's not looking the best. I just touch it up with a one inch curling iron. So just like that. And what I love about this is that my natural hair is so carefree and everything's kind of doing its own thing. So you don't have to be really particular with these curls or waves that you're doing with the curling iron. Just kind of pick some random pieces, touch them up, and it makes a huge, huge difference. See that? See how easy that is though? And the one inch matches my natural wave pattern the best. Also give them a little tug so they look a little more relaxed and natural too at the end. Don't let it just sit there. I think that looks pretty good to me. And I honestly, whenever I wear my hair natural, I like to just swish it from side to side like so. So that's why I kind of see like what pieces when I part it like that don't have that nice of a curl or wave. A little more on this side. And once I'm happy with it, I'll go in with a little more R&B to moisturize these waves. See how fast that is, um, um, wow, that was close. <laughs> I think that looks really good. The last thing I want to share with you guys is these little baby hairs, your edges, the little flyaways that also I feel like personally make me feel like my hair doesn't look done, especially when they're getting stuck to your foundation and your face. It makes me feel really like sweaty, like I'm in hot, humid weather. So for that, I just take a little toothbrush and if you have a pomade, something that's flexible, not a hairspray that if you brush it out, it's gonna leave flakes. Um, I'm gonna use this Bumble and Bumble Sumo Liquid Wax Finishing Spray. I also have the Sumo Tech. This is the original wax you can use this but i find that with the little toothbrush see how thick and creamy that is with the toothbrush i feel like the spray is just a little more forgiving and easier to work with i literally just pulled this lint from my hair and it's back and use that to brush back these hairs and it makes a huge difference it really makes me feel that much more polished and put together and I just love that it gets the hair out of my face and out of my foundation it's not sticking and if you guys know of any great gels for this that you personally use comment down below because I would love to know and then when you want to add a little more R&B I keep on I call it I keep almost saying Airbnb when you want to Airbnb your hair, you know, rent it out to some people because there's so much real estate in here. You could probably, I don't know. Cut, let's try it again. I just, again, take a small amount, just tap your fingers in there. That's all you need, like, like that. Really rub it into your hands like you would a moisturizer and then glide it. See the difference that made? Look at that. Kind of just like finger comb through your hair. 
That officially wraps up this video. Believe it or not, it's been an all day thing waiting for my hair to dry so I could show you the end result. I hope it was worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, found this routine and information helpful. Trust me when I say I know what it's like to not like your natural hair, especially if it's extremely textured. Growing up, I would straighten my hair to death. I never gave it a break. Um, I still remember this one time, and it was an accident, okay? I thought my alarm had gone off for like 5 a.m., which is still crazy to wake up to, just to straighten your hair to go to high school. Um, I remember my mom opened my bedroom door and she's like, ¿Qué estás haciendo? Estás loca. And I was like, what are you talking about? And she's like, it's two in the morning. What are you doing? This is crazy. You've gone too far. And I'm like, oh. I, I read the two as a five. And again, 5 a.m. is still like a little insane to be waking up that early um, when you're a high school student. Just to get ready is still... Um, it's a little too much, you know? You should be able to embrace your natural hair, love it, feel confident in it, and I hope that this video does exactly that for you. So again, if you have any personal recommendations, products, routines that have worked for you, comment down below. Let's help each other out. Um, let's have our hair living its best life carefree and wild this summer. Um, and yeah, make sure to share this video with anyone who maybe um, feels the same way about their natural hair and is looking for a way to embrace it. Share this video with them, subscribe. I just spit all over the lens. <laughs> Hit that notification bell and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.